The next geometry type we'll look at is the sweep, which creates a 3D shape by sweeping a 2D profile along a path. I want to create a consistently shaped frame for underneath the table. And to do that, I can create a sweep. So I'll go to the floor plan. I will then go to sweep. And I will set my work plane not to the reference level, but to the tabletop bottom. Select OK. For some reason, Revit often enters this draw lines uh, sketch mode. However, it's important not to draw any lines yet. Select modify sweep. And then I can either sketch a path where I can enter a sketch mode. Or I can use the pick path tool, which allows me to select individual 3D edges. I'll go for the sketch path for the time being. I'll just change the scale of this view to 1 to 10. And I can use the sketch tools to align and lock the sketch like so. It does not necessarily have to be a closed loop. I could, for example, have the sweep as only being two sketch lines. However, it must be a single connected loop or sketch. Notice this element here is the work plane that will be drawing the profile that is to be swept around this path. If I go to the 3D view, I can see the sketch line drawn at the height of the reference plane tabletop bottom and I can see this will be the profile that will be swept around the path. Once I'm happy with the path, I can finish edit mode. And then I must make sure that I select the sketch. And I can either assign a profile family that has been loaded into this family, which I can use the load family or load profile tool to load in a profile family. But for the time being, I'll just simply edit the profile and then we enter the sketch mode. I can either draw the sketch in 3D or if I go to my left elevation, making sure that the sketch is parallel to the work plane, I can then begin to draw the sketch making sure that it is a closed loop and all the sketch lines are aligned and locked to reference planes. Once I'm happy with my sketch and my profile, I'll finish edit mode for the profile and then I will finish the edit mode to complete the sketch. So if I select this sketch and isolate, I can see the shape of the profile has been swept around that path. I want to reduce the size of this sweep. So I'll go to my left hand elevation.
and I will draw some reference planes. Place a dimension between all five and then toggle the dimension equality. I get a warning saying that toggling the equality constraint would over constrain the sketch, meaning that there are reference planes that are being constrained by multiple dimensions or other constraints. If I select cancel, select this equality dimension here, because this is defining the equality location of these three reference planes. And this dimension is also going to try to define that constraint. So I can't have both. So I can select this equality or this dimension, delete, select the new dimension that I have created, select the equality constraint. And this has now ensured that all of these dimensions or reference planes are equally spaced. I can now select the sweep, select edit sweep, select the profile, select edit profile, and I will just update the sketch to suit this smaller frame that I desire. I can use the align tool to adjust the location of this right hand sketch line. I get a warning that constraints are not satisfied because this sketch line is currently constrained to the reference plane on the right. But I can remove the constraints and then use the padlock to lock the line to the new reference plane I have aligned to. I can then finish the edit mode for the profile and then finish edit mode for the entire frame. Go back to 3D and I can see the frame around there like so. I could easily have created this frame using four extrusions or a single extrusion from the top. So it's always best to consider the most appropriate form of geometry for the particular element that you are creating.